In this class, we are going to learn how to convert a scheduled integration to an app driven integration. At the time of recording this video, we are able to convert only scheduled integration to a REST based trigger app driven integration. That is, when we convert an integration to app driven integration, we have an option only to expose our integration over REST trigger or REST protocol. I am assuming you are already having an scheduled integration. So, in my case, I have this scheduled integration. I will open this in edit mode. So this is a basic schedule integration which is having only one activity. In your case, you might have n number of actions or the activities within the integration canvas or the flow which carries out lot of business operations. This use case will be very helpful when you create an integration involving lot of business operations within the flow and at the end you might face a case where you have to expose your integration over a REST protocol so that you can accept the input from the user. Now the first step in converting any scheduled integration to a REST based trigger connection is we need to click on this trigger connection that is scheduled trigger connection and click on this more action. On clicking on more option you will get bunch of options we need to click on this convert to REST trigger. Click on this. At the first it will ask which trigger connection you want to use. You need to have one REST connection created which supports trigger role. So in my case, I have already created this REST trigger connection, which is supporting trigger role. I'm selecting this. Here I'm giving the trigger as endpoint name. Click on next. Now here we will get the wizard options like how we use the REST connection in the trigger. Same like that we need to populate the details. Now it is asking what does this operation do? Let me give as this will greet person greets the person in the endpoint let me give this test slash test post greetings this is fine and the operation or the http work we can select as get put post delete patch like this i'm selecting here as post i want the request as well as response to be sent click on next provide the sample json sample for the request i've already created the sample let me copy and paste it over here. Click on OK. Next comes the response schema. I am selecting JSON sample. Click on inline. Copy the response. Click on OK. Done. Click on next. If you have selected n number of operations or in other words, if you have made this trigger connection to expose or lot of resources or verbs, you will end up over here in the operations where you can define other resources or the verbs. As in this case, I'm having only one resource over which our integration will be exposed. So that is over this endpoint that is slash post greetings. Once done, click on done button. Click on convert when you get the pop-up. As you can see our integration got automatically converted to REST based integration. Now as you can see there is a warning over here. It is because we have exposed our integration to receive the request and send the response back. So we need the mapping over here to be added okay, which will send the greetings back. So in that case let me click on this plus icon over here and add the map. Click on map, search for map, select this, expand the response wrapper and expand the request wrapper. Let me create the greetings node and write the message as hello followed by the name what we get in the request comma explanation marks and with the message have a nice day click on validate there is some error over here let's see what it is oh that is the function name it is concat once done click on validate click on validate the mapper click on close 
If you observe, we had only one activity or the action within the pipeline in our schedule integration. After converting, it will come over here. It will be applicable for other actions as well if you are having a switch activity or if you are having any other invocations that will reflect over here in the pipeline. There is the warning that is for tracking variable. Let me add the tracking variable. So let me add this name. Click on save. Let me close and activate this integration. My integration got activated successfully. In order to test the integration, we need to click on this run and test. So here in the testing window, we are getting option to test this integration like any other integration which is exposed to our REST protocol. We need to click on this body, provide the details. In our case, the JSON is accepting only the name key and the value will be the name. So in our case, value is VNAM learning. Click on test. I am getting the greetings back. So like this, we can convert a scheduled integration to app driven integration. As I told at the time of recording this video, converting an integration from scheduled to app driven supports only to expose integration over a REST protocol that is as a REST trigger.